were on hands-on algebra. Today we will be doing the subject of negative integers. And uh, let us begin by explaining what materials we will be using. I will be using green plugs and red plugs. You can at home if you don't have green and red counters, green and red plugs, you can make your own tokens and color them with uh, a green sketch pen and a red sketch pen and use those for solving the problems that we will be posing in these sessions. I repeat what I have said earlier in the other sessions that Janaganit math is not a program of online lectures. What I have you said cannot learn mathematics program by listening of online lectures. lectures. What mathematics have, can be learnt best by solving problems. And in all the Janaganit sessions, we will be solving problems using a variety of materials. And then we will be translating what we understand to writing it in symbols and numerals. So let me begin by explaining the language of the session today. This green plug represents one rupee if I am in India. But I know there are people participating all over the world. So this green plug may also represent one real or one rand or one ruble or one yuan. friend. So now, do I have one rupee in my Yes, but I also have a loan which is represented by this red plug. This red plug means I have to pay one rupee to my friend. And if I have one rupee in my account and a loan of one rupee which I have to pay. In fact, I still have zero net worth in this account. I started out with zero. I took a loan, but since I have to repay the loan, my net worth is still zero. So I call this loan as negative one, I call this rupee as positive one. This is the language that we will be using in this session. Now let me begin with a problem, Gyanjyoti. 
how much money is there in my account now? Three rupees. Three rupees. Very good. My next question is to Nandita. Nandita, what do I have in my account? A loan of two rupees. A loan of two rupees. So now shall we use the language of positive and negative? I'll repeat the question. Gyan Jyoti, what is there in my account? Three rupees. You have to use the language of positive and negative. Plus three. Not, we will say positive three. Okay, plus three also we will use later. But right now, this is positive three. And Nandita, what is this? Negative two. Negative two. Okay, now let me ask the next question to Nandita. I have this in my account. Zero. So my account is worth zero. Because I have to repay both these loans. When I repay the loans, I have nothing. Very good. Uh, Gyan Jyoti, I have this in my account. What is, how much am I worth? One rupees. One rupee. Positive one. Yes. Okay. Because when I repay this loan, This is worth how much? Two rupees. This. A loan of one rupee and one rupee. This Three. is worth? You said one rupee. How much is this? Four. How much is this now? One. One rupee. So if this is one rupee and if this is worth one rupee, then this must be? Two. If this is 2 and this is 1, 0. Let's come again. Okay. So this is 1 and this is 0. zero. Hmm. Because I have a loan of 1 rupee which I have to repay. And when I repay it, then what I am left with is just 1 rupee. So a loan and positive 1 means 0. That's what we have learned from this example. So now are you ready to solve problems? But before we solve, start solving problems, let me show you how to write. So this here, which I've written as positive one, means this. And I write negative one, I write negative one, which means just this. Okay. So now I'm going to give problems, I'm going to write problems and you have to make those in your account. Nandita, you have to make this in your account.
And what is the value of your account? One. One. Positive one. Positive one. Okay. Why is it positive one? Because I have a loan of one rupee and two rupees in my account. If right. I repay the loan, loan, I will be left with one rupee. Can you put your loan and your positive one together in your account? So, just lift that. What you just made, lift that. Okay, so what do you have now in your account? One rupee. One rupee. Okay, now the next question is to Gyan Jyoti. I'm going to write it here. Make this in your account. And can you tell us what is the value of your account? Zero. Zero. Why is it zero? Because of plus and minus is equal to minus. Two minus two is equal to zero. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. Uh, can you tell me that in the in the loan language? You have how much money in your account? Two rupees. Plus two. And you also, how much loan do you have? Minus two. That means you have a loan of two rupees, right? So when you repay the loans, just repay the loans. So you have repaid the loans. And now how much do you have in your account? Zero. Zero. Because a loan of one rupee, which is repaid with one rupee, when you do that, you have no money, that is zero, right? So now how many zeros do you have in your account? Look at your look at your account and tell me how many zeros do you have? How many zeros? Show me one zero, hold it up in your hand. That is not zero, that is one. Hold that, what is that? Negative one. Negative one. That is also not zero. I want you to hold up a zero. Something which is worth zero. Just hold it up in your hand. Think about it. You have made those two, one green and one red, right? Hold that in your hand. Hold it up. Is it plus one? Yes? Yes. Is it minus one? Yes. Can it be both plus one and minus one? Zero. So is it plus one? Is it minus one? No. So what is it? Zero. So what you have in your hand is? Zero. Zero. Okay. So keep it back. And remember my question to you. I'll repeat the question. How many zeros do you have in your account now? Two. Two zeros, right? Yeah. You have made two zeros, but two zeros, the value of two zeros is still the value of one zero is zero. The value of two zeros is two zero. Is it different? If, if you have no money and I give you no money, how much money do you have? Zero. Which is? Zero. zero, right? So the value of two zeros is zero. zero. Okay, that's what we have learned from this discussion. So Nandita, now the problem to you is make an account into your account. Can you put 
six plugs, but the value of your account has to be zero. So do you have six plugs? Yes. Okay. We'll repeat that. We'll repeat that. Give her the plugs. Okay, I'll repeat that. So Nandita, can you put six plugs in your account and still have zero? Yes. Show me what you made. Right. And uh, how many zeros do you have in your account now? Three. Three zeros. But you have six plugs. And each zero is made up of two plugs plus rather positive one and negative one. So what we have discussed here is that positive one and negative one is zero because when I repay the loan I have no money. Now let us Go to the next problem. Nandita, you put three green plugs and two red plugs in your account. And uh, Gyan Jyoti, in your account, you put two green plugs. Keep all the plugs separate. And now my question to you, Gyan Jyoti, is look at Nandita's account and look at your account. And my question is, who has more money? Nandita. Nandita has more money. What is the value of Nandita's account? One. And what is the value of your account? So Nandita has how many rupees? One rupee. And how much do you have? Two rupees. So who has more money? Nandita. Nandita has one rupee. And you have two rupees. So who has more money? Me. Supposing you have to choose between two accounts, between Nandita's account and your account, which one will you choose? Mine. Okay, let's do one more example. Clear your accounts, make your account zero. Now you take two red plugs. Gyan Jyoti, Nandita you don't do it. Gyan Jyoti, you take two red plugs and four green plugs. And Nandita, you take three green plugs. Now Gyan Jyoti, how much money do you have in your account? Two rupees. Two rupees. And how much money does Nandita have in her account? Three rupees. Three rupees. So, who has more money? Nandita. Nandita. Okay. Though you have six plugs in your account, and Nandita has only three plugs in her account, but you have only two rupees, whereas Nandita has three rupees. So, who has more? Nandita. Nandita. So now we understand 
what is more and what is less and uh, let us do one last example to understand what is more and what is less Nandita you take two green plugs and Gyan Jyoti you take two red plugs who has more Nandita, Nandita. okay uh, I'll continue now Nandita, you take just one green plug and you still have two red plugs. So who has more money? Me. You have more money. Okay. Now I will give you two rupees. Okay. And I will give Nandita also two rupees. So take your two rupees, put it into your account, put it into your account and give this to Nandita and put it into her account. Now what is the value of your account, Jan Jyoti? Zero. It is zero. And what is the value of Nandita's account? Three rupees. Three rupees. So, which one will you choose? Nandita. Nandita's account. Okay. Now, I will take one rupee from you and one rupee from Nandita. Okay. I have taken the same amount of money from each of you. How much uh, money does Nandita have now? Two rupees. How much money do you have? You can tell me in terms of loan and... One rupee loan. You have a one rupee loan, right? So, supposing we use the language of positive and negative, how much does Nandita have? Two positives. Positive two. And how much do you have? Negative one. Negative one. So which is more? Nandita. Nanditas. Now I will take one rupee from each of you. So take one rupee from Nandita and one rupee from you. And what do I have left? What does Nandita have left with? One rupee. One rupee. And what do you have? Two rupees loan. Two rupees loan. So now who has more? Nandita. Nandita. Okay. She still has more. So what we had, what we saw earlier, you may have more plugs, but you may have less money. So here Nandita has one rupee, positive one, and you have now negative two. Okay. All right. Now let's do one more example. Nandita, you take negative one and Gyan Jyoti, you take positive one and negative one. What is the value of your account, Gyan Jyoti? Zero. Zero. And what is the value of your account? Negative one. Negative one. Who has more? Gyan Jyoti. Gyan Jyoti. Okay, Gyan Jyoti, now I give you negative one and I also give Nandita negative one. Just recall, keep it in your hand, what I've given you. How much is your account worth now? 
One negative. And? Zero. What is the total worth of your account? One negative and two, sorry, one positive and two negative. No, that is in your hand. That is in your hand. Just keep it aside. Now look at your account. What do you have in your account? One positive and one negative. What is the value? Zero. Zero. Okay. Uh, in Nandita's account, what does she have? One negative. One negative. Who has more? Me. You have more. Because she has one negative. You have one negative and a positive. So you have more. Right? Now, if I give you each one negative, who has more? Nandita. Earlier who had more? Me. And both of you have taken one negative. So now who has more? Me. You still have more. What is your value now? Two negative and one positive. Which is? Mm. Combine one negative and one positive. How much is that? Zero. Zero. So what is your value? One negative. One negative. And Nandita has? Two negatives. Two negatives. So who has more? Nandita. Earlier you said you had more. Recall, earlier you said you had more. Hmm? I gave both of you the same thing. I gave you one negative, I gave her one negative. Let's do it again. Take away your negative, each of you. Look at your account. What is the value of your account, Gyan Jyoti? Zero. And what is the account of Nandita? One negative. One negative. Who has more? Me. You have more. I give you now, one, hold that in your hand. I give you one rupee. And I give Nandita one rupee. Now who has more? Me. You still have more. What is your value? Two positive mm -hmm. and one negative. Which is? Two. Make, combine one negative and one positive. How much is that? Zero. So, what is the value of your account? One positive. One positive. Okay. Let's do a few examples so that we are very thorough about this. Uh, keep uh, three green plugs and one red plug. I am making it here. Three green plugs and one red plug. So how many positives is this? Jan Jyoti? Three positives. How many negatives is there in my account? One negative. One negative. What is the value of my account? Two positive. Two positive, right? Because I combine this and the value is? Two positive. This is a zero. The value is two positive. I am going to give another problem. Can you tell me now what is the value of my account? Zero. Zero. Okay, I am giving another problem. What is the value of my account? One positive. And? Three negative. So, what is the value? Two negative. Two negatives. Okay. So, the value of this is? This is zero. What remains is two negatives. Now let me give one more problem. What is the value of this account? Two positive and four negative. Yes. And let me combine them. Two negatives. 
So it is two negatives. So now just by looking, you'll have to tell me the value of the account. Okay, just by looking at the account. I'm not going to put them together. Are you ready? One negative. One negative. Very good. Now, one positive. One positive. Okay, so we have learned how to keep the accounts. One positive and one negative cancel to give you zero. This positive, this negative cancel to give you zero. This positive, this negative cancel to give you zero. And all that I'm left with is one positive. These three zeros are just zeros. One zero or two zeros or three zeros, the value is still zero. So the value of my account is one positive. Having learned this, now let us go forward.